First to 10, time is ticking for you to weigh in on how to spend a multi-million dollar windfall in Ram settlement money. This is First Alert 4 at 10. I'm Corey Stark. Samantha is off. $260 million sitting in the bank tonight, and there are only two days left if you live or work in St. Louis to tell the city what you want to do with that money. Well, First Lord 4's Melanie Johnson is live outside of City Hall tonight with the priorities inching toward the top of the list. Melanie? Corey, while the aldermen have the final say in what to do with all this money, the people have the control over the list of options. We spoke to taxpayers tonight who say this is their way of holding the city accountable for leaving their community neglected and abandoned. We want the, some of the RAM settlement money to go to improving this building. There's so much in here. Demands to do right for a place that's fallen from grace after St. Louis football great Demetrius Johnson passed away. They want some of the city's $250 million in RAM settlement money to go toward rebuilding the West End Community Center. We deserve to have this building. We pay taxes too. Gwendolyn Cogshell does not even recognize the now decrepit and abandoned building, which was like a second home for her family back in the 1960s. This did save a lot of lives because we had so much to do. It's tremendously detrimental to our children and what they have to offer. Fixing up youth safe havens falls under one of the 20 categories listed as St. Louis City's top priorities. $15 million will be set aside to improve existing or build new youth recreation centers. All of these ideas came from community members. It did not come from a single author or a single elected official. Older woman Alicia Sonye encourages those who live and work in the city to vote for up to 10 projects where the funds could be spent. As of Wednesday, there has been more than 8,000 submissions. The deadline is Friday. This can be an after school program. This can be daycare. This can be a hub for nonprofits. All those things that they list, we can have it right here in this building. We don't want to make decisions for you. We want to make decisions with you. But we can only make decisions with you if you engage in the process. A process neighbors like Gwendolyn and Dion hopes bear fruit to bring pride back to their block. If we lose this building, we're going to lose the, uh, the biggest jewel that we have. The city wants to reiterate that they have to spend ARPA funding by the end of the year. Right now, that RAM settlement money is occurring interest $10 million as of right now. They want you to vote by the end of the day on Friday. We'll have that link for you in this story on the KMOV First Alert 4 News app. Reporting live at City Hall, Melanie Johnson, First Alert 4. We'll have to see how that all shakes out. Melanie, thank you.